This haunting just got a whole lot creepier. Posted by Raymond Powell to the Ghosts subreddit. The Redditor notes that this is an update on the disturbing happenings in his home. What are these happenings? The video shows some sort of piper tube on the counter start to roll one way and then the other. Next, a glass of water is seen disturbed slightly before being pushed clean off the edge. And lastly, a nearby recliner's footstool extends on its own. Many in the comments are completely creeped out by this clip. Miss Miley Moo wrote, At the end, I turned the phone away for the last 10 seconds because I didn't trust it. I definitely wouldn't trust this ghost either. When unexplained shadows fall, your only recourse is to search for an answer. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit, Sammy Sam 1870 writes, It was 2.06 a.m. and there was no one walking around, nor were there any cars in sight when this mysterious shadow strolled across my security camera. The following day, I tried to figure out where it could have came from, but found no explanation. The security camera footage shows a black shadow cast upon the ground, moving across the screen. As the Redditor explains, nothing visible in the area is casting the shadow. So do we have a shadow figure on our hands, or is this just a bug caught at a weird angle? I stand before this image and I cannot help but feel a sense of unease. A pale woman caught on her knees is being pulled away by unseen forces. Her arms are held captive by a dark and sinister presence. Her face twisted in fear. What could be causing this woman such terror? The tentacles that encircle her arms are like nothing I have ever seen before. They are sleek and black, pulsing with malevolent energy that chills me to the bone. I am struck by the sense that there is something more at play here. Something dark and sinister is lurking in the shadows, dragging this woman into the unknown. This image is a haunting reminder of the power of the unknown and the dangers that exist in the world beyond our understanding. It is a warning that we must be cautious and vigilant, for there are forces beyond our control that can threaten our very existence. Blink and you'll miss it. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit. Power Startup writes, IDK, what's up with this video? It's slowed down and the voice sounds poorly acted. But when she turns the camera back around, look at the left staircase. As the woman in the video addresses an unseen presence called Joey, the camera pans from a rickety old stair to a darkened window for a moment. It's when she turns back that viewers are seeing something unusual. Redditor Paratrax writes, That's a foot, walking up the stairs, while others agree that it appears on the third step to the bottom near the railing. Is this Joey? If so, he's not in the basement. Lady, he'd be right beside you. This paranormal crew's third visit to this prison did not disappoint. CVS Paranormal enters Dorchester Prison, a criminal facility in which executions have been carried out. In previous investigations of this prison, the team has captured some truly eerie figures on camera, like this one. As the team enters, whispering is heard on the audio. This is a big main entrance where down there is, um, yeah. Big main entrance where down there is, um. A second EVP captures a low growl. Prisoner was in here. Prisoner was in here. This is shortly followed by a door closing or opening. Sounded like a growl or something. Sounded like a growl or something. And scratching noises. This is a big one. Definite noises. This singing is what's really chilling. I, I just heard, I swear I just heard singing. It sounded like it was coming from here as well. Soldier. Oh! But it's when you're not searching for ghosts that they come find you. Trust me.
It seems Dorchester Prison is truly rife with activity, but whether it's good or evil is anyone's guess. Even Ghosts Get Hungry Published to YouTube In September of 2017, the spirit has got quite the appetite. While a pair films the inside of the shop, explaining in Spanish what was going on, a package of crisps fall from the shelf. As the woman filming approaches it, suddenly it shoots across the floor toward her. She and the dude quickly flee, and who can blame them? Maybe pranking the living really makes you work up an appetite. This clip is making waves in the Spanish YouTube community, and it's clear to see why. This associated image was posted in July of 2020 by YouTuber Curious Area, and at first, this footage seems like nothing more than your average nighttime drive. Spooky lights, empty streets, no one around. That is, until this creepy oblong figure emerges standing on the side of the road. As the car drives slowly past, the figure doesn't move from near the crosswalk. You can't make out its face or any details of its visage, but it does appear to be wearing a long robe. Would this get your heart pumping, or are your nerves made of steel? There's nothing more terrifying than what you cannot see. Posted to the oddly terrifying subreddit, this scary video shows a drive along a highway at around 5.30 at night in December of 2021. After a moment, a storm bursts into view via multiple lightning strikes. And then on the horizon, you see it, a black funnel twisting ahead. The tornado appears to be straight on in the direction this car is driving. As the lightning continues to flash, the twister is moving off to the left and growing larger as the car approaches it. Many in the comments are wondering why the car continues to drive toward it. Notice the raindrops on the windshield. They're moving horizontally toward the twister. When this happens, as Redditor Ballpen Dodger notes, you're too close. And when you're facing a tornado like this, that is the last place you'd want to be. Yet another Randonautica exploration turns scary. Posted to TikTok by Autumn Johnson. This two-part series will keep you on your toes. Autumn writes that the app first took them to a dirt road leading deep into the forest. At the destination, they searched around only to find the roof of a house sticking out of the ground. When they looked inside, they discovered it was a Native American spirit house. The Ojibwe housed the graves of those passed away in stone structures. Their houses are built to honor their families and offerings are made there. These traditional spirit houses are, more or less, simply grave sites. Some TikTokers remark that it's important to respect these sacred grounds, and that's for sure. TikToker Jack of All Trades writes, So long as you didn't touch anything, you should be okay. But if you did, I'm so sorry for you. What would you do if you saw this happen before your very eyes? Shared to TikTok by Tigraz. This crazy video has me doing a double take. The footage shows a girl at a trampoline park jumping up and down like normal. At first, nothing's off, but then... After kneeling, she bends backwards, takes the opposite angles of each leg with her hands, and manages to fold herself around in such a bizarre way that you would think she's possessed. What is this madness?
I think this girl is double jointed, also called hypermobile. This involves joints that can move beyond the typical range. About 20% of people are hypermobile, but many are not to this extent. At least there's no need for an exorcism. Basements are built to house all the evils of the world. This basement is no exception. Published by YouTuber Mr. Vujade in February of 2012, this frightening basement monster will scare the living daylights out of you. The short clip sees our protagonist heading downstairs into a creepy dark basement. As he slowly searches the space, it appears empty. Apart from a few piles of storage items, some bicycles, the usual suspects in a basement. But then suddenly he turns, which is when he is confronted by this. I'm never going down there again, the YouTuber writes. Who can blame him? I don't think I could ever work up the courage to explore that basement. This clip calls into question whether or not there's life on Mars. According to Redditor GamersGen, this video was captured by NASA's Curiosity rover over Mars. On the 23rd of August 2012, GamersGen linked an AI enhanced version in 4K to the post. The video is actually a series of photographs, so the rate at which it appears to fly is inaccurate. Regardless, the photo series shows an unknown flying device moving over the horizon of the planet's Barrett landscape. It flies to a point where it hovers overhead for a moment before moving off and out of sight. While of course many call fake in the comments, others claim it could be part of something larger. However, our Redditor throws down some math noting that the rover supposedly takes a photo every 5 minutes. If this is the case, it's pretty unusual that nothing changed on the planet's surface, nor did the light or rover shift in that amount of time. Logical, but then again, X-Files advises us to trust no one. Who's there? Your worst nightmare. Posted by Deadhead Gillies to the Ghosts subreddit. The Redditor says there's something knocking in the walls, and we don't have to take her word for it because she has video proof. It sounds like someone is knocking insistently at the door, only there's no one there. She says this has continued for two months. She's not the only one to have had such an experience. Redditor Ritual Maniac writes in the comments that the same knocking pattern occurred at a house she once lived in, along with other paranormal happenings like voices, doors opening, running, etc. When they moved, everything, including the nightmares and unexplainable bad feelings, all vanished. The Redditor says this knocking wasn't heard initially and just started happening randomly as of late. At one point when her boyfriend lived there, he even heard laughing and whispering. The Redditor said after sending the videos to her grandmother, a pastor was supposed to come and visit, but of course an ongoing event began earlier this year and prevented that. Some in the comments think it's the pipes, others say it's likely a pesky animal, but myself and many others are leaning towards the paranormal. Game of Onions writes, Let him in already. Must be cramped in there. But I wouldn't take that advice. Don't look behind you. This scary video is trending in the Arabic-speaking YouTube community. After witnessing something terrifying, this man flees to his car. But that something is there waiting for him. The creepy video, originally posted to TikTok by Elkakoi.tv, also reveals what initially scared the man. But as we already know how it ends, the man clearly has nowhere to run and nowhere to hide. If I were him, I'd be getting the heck out of that house ASAP. Imagine what it might be like to sail on the open sea. Nothing but water all around you. Now imagine that same water at night. Posted to the oddly terrifying subreddit. This clip was originally posted on TikTok by Oily White Hat who works on an oil rig. 
The short clip shows the black inky darkness that surrounds the rig at night. It's pitch black all around. You can't see past the handrails. Redditor TimboFlex writes in the comments, Yeah, I've been on a ship in the middle of the Pacific at night with only red lights. The stars and the colors above you are amazing, and below you is just a noisy void of inky blackness. It's like you're floating in space near the event horizon of a black hole looking away. Would you be able to stand it out here on the edge of the event horizon? As amazing as it sounds, I think I'm gonna stay on land. Would you have the courage to enter a home in which a horrific event took place? That's how the police described this poor lady's passing. Published in January of 2022, the Ouija brothers head inside one of England's most haunted abandoned homes in which a woman is said to have had her life taken, using a device to speak with the spirit. The guys ask what her name is. Her answer gives me chills. Could you tell us your name? Blood. Blood? Blood. Blood then. It's a bit of a funny name, isn't it? <laughs> Remember, I like that lady. Yes, blood. <laughs> um... Then, as a cameraman is backing out of a room, they capture a strange hissing noise. Oh, yeah. oh, I'm, I ain't going in there, man, because I'll make me ill for days. <gasps> Later, they're in another room when out the door, they see a light, it starts getting brighter, and then they hear something clatter. Look, 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 look my can you see I'm getting brighter? It is. Oh. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. What the f I'll my head, hold on. Is this the ghost of the woman whose life was taken in this home? Or as Suze suggests in the comments, did the events of this poor lady's life imprint on the house? This one's a head scratcher. TikToker Elkakoi.tv shares this mysterious video that's a total nightmare. Watch around the side of the door. Is that? What the f was that? At first, it looks to me like a ghost peeking out sideways at the guy, but TikTokers are floating other theories as to what the heck that was. Bro, what was that? Well, I think Cap like Caleb could be right that it was this mirror. It's the reflection in the mirror that's throwing people off. That could be anything, but to me it looks like someone covering their abnormally large face with their hands. What do you think it is? Crazy EVPs and spiritual mists run amok in the haunted Skinner's Tavern. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit, Paranormal Purgatory writes, we captured what looks like a spirit trying to manifest in the doorway. They also captured some insane dialogues with the beyond as they attempted to communicate with the spirits inside this haunted place. See for a little bit. See for a little bit. See if we can hear anything. After an EVP translates a spirit whispering, All pretty I am. A partial manifestation is caught in this doorway. Right in the middle of the entry, you can see a trace of a ghostly mist as the camera pans round. The Redditor doesn't appear to notice it in the moment, as he calmly asks the house at large if he can get a drink. Don't blame him, he's probably gonna need a drink again when he plays this back. At first, Redditor Dawn Grager believes this sound was in her imagination, but then she recorded it. Listen closely. It sounds like a strangled scream. Mm -hmm. 
Some in the comments think it's just air escaping a container of some kind. Others think it's a trapped animal. I wouldn't rule out a portal to the fiery depths below. But those two theories also seem likely. This sound is for sure something you don't want to be imagining. Well, light can certainly play tricks on us, and on a camera, things can get creepy. Posted to the ghost subreddit, Garno7 explains that he and some friends were hanging around their campfire near a lake, and one of them captured this on his phone. The clip shows a figure appearing to run from their group of people into the roaring flames, watches the camera pans from left to right. Can you see it? Well, many in the comments say the figure is nothing but a lens flare. A couple redditors counter that argument. Redditor Patrick RS Ghost writes, At first I thought it was some flare or something due to the transition from dark to light very quickly, but when I looked closer I could see something start to move within the crowd at around the 2 second mark, almost to the left of the little girl in the pink sweater, right as the camera starts to pan, and upon looking again, I can totally see what this redditor is talking about. So now I think there's a good chance this could be paranormal, because when you take the time, it seems to sync up. This is some serious EMF gone wrong. Published by Dark Life in March of 2022, Dennis held an EMF session in the basement of this old house in which girls are said to have gone missing. After spending some time in the basement, he hears something in the wardrobe. As he reaches toward it, the wardrobe starts to rock aggressively. Dennis runs from it, and in doing so appears to hurt his leg amongst all the rubbish in the basement. He looks back for a moment but decides it's best to leave the house. And after seeing this shell of a haunted home, wouldn't you? Is this the portal to the fiery depths below? The team from Proving Demons thinks so. In this scary video, they're screaming back in the screaming house. As they prepare to communicate with the spirits, the spirits get there first. I'm, I'm not ready for this, but let's just do it. Oh, why is it starting? Shit. Why is it starting? You know what I'm about to do? Do you actually know what I'm about to do? The device was triggered and then a tap is heard. And now it's time for a scream with an Aztec whistle. In the distance they hear something. What the f Sounds like the death whistle. What's that? I sound like the death whistle. Someone's Are you recording? Right? Someone's outside. Someone's outside. Someone's outside. Someone's outside. Are you recording? Yes. So it's, it's not just playing. Are the spirits screaming back? They switch places to see if they're hearing the same thing. You blow on the top. Purse your lips around the top and blow into it with the megaphone in front of it. On a recording device, they hear the spirit laughing. It's maniacal laughing. Is it laughing at their games? To me, the retaliatory screaming following the whistle does sound like someone is screaming back, but this laughter is the most unsettling part of the investigation, in my opinion. When the paranormal comes after you, do you stick around for more? Published by Han Kardisler, that's what this group did. And they weren't disappointed. As the paranormal crew is searching an abandoned school, they find something frightening inside. They're in one room examining things when a sound is heard from the other end of the room. A moment later, a large beam of wood is shoved off a table to the floor. They cross the room, closer to the action. Çocuk 
And as they're talking, another large piece of wood comes flying out one of them from the door. Still, they remain in the room as though nothing happened. Are these guys crazy or are they unfazed because they're so used to this stuff? Whatever the case, they'd best run. The phantom is getting more aggressive by the minute. Ball lightning are luminescent phenomenons usually linked to thunderstorms. The rare anomalies have been recorded throughout history in various sizes, from the size of a pea to several feet wide. The following clip appears to capture this phenomenon. Published to YouTube by Roman Tregubov in August of 2016, the so-called lightning fireball was captured in Russia at the edge of a field. Stormy weather darkens the sky as the fireball moves slowly across the horizon. Surrounded by blue lights, the ball flares up randomly and disappears behind some tall trees but is still visible beyond, although some are sure this is ball lightning. YouTuber Jason W suggests an alternative theory in the comments, to which others agree. He writes, That's an arc of electricity going across two different phases on a power line. Not that weird, but pretty cool to witness as long as you're far away. The Redditor claims that there are no power lines in this area to validate this explanation, but again, it's hard to tell from this distance. What do you think? Do you agree with Roman or Jason? Either way, this brilliant ball of light would be a crazy sight to encounter. YouTuber D-Dog Michael is back at it again, exploring this abandoned place, and he is not alone. What is after being scared to his wit's end, Michael enters another dark room and sees this. <coughs> Did that hand just confront him? The mystery continues as he enters a room of mirrors. <gasps> After this terrifying encounter, he keeps on going. Someone is there for sure. And that someone is stalking him. Come on, you. <laughs> Michael hears both a girl and a man in this haunted place, but are they good or evil? I think that he'd better hedge his bets because he can't be sure. Someone is watching you. Published by Paranormal Voyages in January of 2022, this paranormal crew is not just paranoid. As they're tuning into the spirits and or demons of this place, one of the crew sees something pop up outside through the window. There's something outside. Here. Here. Later, as she's wearing headphones to listen in to what the spirits have to say, she feels someone, and then that someone speaks. Who are you? What are you? Whoa! Move her chair, it said, in a deep man's voice. Let's well, so see you move the chair. After the demon says to touch her and make her cry, the crew urges the demon to leave. Make her cry, it said. No, you cannot no, make her cry. You're gonna have to leave. You can't yeah. do anything negative. The woman looks very shaken up, and she says she felt weird vibes. Are these the vibes of a demon? 
more than likely. The historic Jefferson has plenty of haunting footage. This clip is one of the most chilling. Captured by a guest staying in the doll room, the footage shows one of the room's many dolls coming to life. First, watch behind the pillow. It just peers out like that for about a minute. That movement, though. Something peers out. It's one of the dolls. A moment later, the doll falls over. Um. This is the doll in question. The staff shares its creepy history. It does have history to it. Um, typically, we'll put the doll here just to make it look kind of creepy, but we've had several guests say that the doll's not there. We'll come and look, and the doll will be behind the chair. One time, that was. The doll is creepy just looking at it, but this footage on top of its history of innate creepiness ensures that I can't handle staying in the doll room. If you're feeling a presence in your basement, there's probably a reason. Published to YouTube in October of 2019, the uploader explains that this was the first footage she captured of a ghost on her laptop with Xbox One Kinect. She says other paranormal things occurred along with the Kinect footage, including her laptop's battery running out of juice quickly, and a plastic Walmart bag moving of its own accord, despite no draft being present. As the uploader demonstrates the Kinect's capabilities, it shows only her limb movement for a while, when she brings a doll lacking a head and places it on a rocking chair. Something appears to be hovering by a bookshelf in the background, something with lime green energy. It remains there for a long while, but when the woman places the baby head on the door, a new Kinect figure appears right next to the rocker, or perhaps the same figure has moved. This time, its energy appears aqua. It remains there active for a very long time and then disappears at one point. When the woman walks past it to sit down on the couch, it doesn't again reappear. It's either about time to move or to throw out that doll, or both. Don't accept help from just anyone. They might not be what you think. YouTuber Scaryfield shares this creepy video which is trending in the Hindi-speaking YouTube community. The video is actually from YouTube channel True Horror Stories POV, and this horror story Story occurred on a dark road at night. In the beginning, the woman starts having car trouble in a cursed place. After pulling to the side of the road, a random stranger stops to help her. Ah, you ah 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 kereta saya dia pun tadi tak tahu asal tak boleh start. Ah, dia termati-mati dia pergi saya jalan tadi tak tahu apa pasal. Boleh tolong? The guy checks out a few things but each time the woman attempts to start her car, it's still having trouble. Tak ada. Tak leh. Tak tahulah asal. The man then tells her that it's not a mechanical problem. Tapi tadi kereta saya betul-betul mati man. Bukan. Benda ikut ni. Benda ikut. Benda apa cik? Cuba tengok dalam kereta sekarang. Dalam kereta. But rather that something attached itself to her on the cursed route she took and maybe he was right. While this is just a reenactment, these incidents are said to be based on true events. <laughs> well, if this happened to me in real life, I can't imagine I'd live to tell the tale. YouTuber Adam Mark explores this abandoned mansion. The owner passed away, leaving everything behind. After a while, the place became frozen in time. It's a little spiraling staircase. You can see the decay on the walls, all the paint peel. Carpet's quite trodden in. Bit grimy. See all the marks up the walls, which lets me think it has been abandoned a while. 
The cupboards are full of items that no one will ever read. But everything is just completely full. Everything's left behind in this one. Old video camera there, look. <laughs> Very strange. Adam breaks out the K2 and gets some readings in certain parts of the house. All right, so we're getting little bits. There we go, there we go. Something down here. Look at this. Oh my God. Guys, look at this. Using another paranormal device, Adam is directly warned by the spirits. Are you the spirit that passed away here? Listen to that, exactly yeah. where I thought it would go, by the guitar. Yeah. Yeah. And then he sees something unexplainable. Did you just show your hand around that wall? <laughs> Guys, this is so weird. I uh, one million percent have just seen this. It was like a hand reaching around that wall there. Are Adam's eyes playing tricks on him? I don't think so. This one looks like a real gut punch of fear. Hey, we saw. <sighs> Considering this along with all of the spirit communications, I feel that the residents are here after all. The last thing you want to find in a toilet stall is a viewing gallery. That's what Redditor Chopper Ian discovered in a lady's cubicle at a UK pub in Hampshire. Posted to the casual UK subreddit, the Redditor asks, What is the point of this? The video shows a small sliding door between the toilet stalls, with latches on either side to lock it. But why would it need to be unlocked in the first place? And why is it there at all? The Redditor notes that this was a nice country pub. Some suggest it's used to confess your sins, others to hold hands. Many in the comments refer to the Seinfeld episode, in which Elaine realizes she's run out of toilet paper, and asks the neighboring stall to spare a square. And actually, that seems to be the consensus among Redditors in the thread for the utility of this sliding door. What do you think it's for? Dennis from Dark Ghost Paranormal is exploring this scary house with ghosts. And he's in for a real boo. While searching what looks like a storage area of the home, he falls to the ground. <laughs> In fact, it looks like he breaks clean through the ground, and he does. The disturbance is captured from another room. A mysterious anomaly is seen in that same storage room. And that anomaly may be getting aggressive with him. But nothing is there, or so it seems. Just as he's decided to leave, he's confronted by the ghost again. <laughs> One actually might think it's an earthquake, if not for the terrifying knowledge that this place is haunted. Later, he hears a whole lot of ruckus again and goes to investigate, when, behind him, there's a growl. What sort of beast is in here with Dennis? I don't think that's a ghost. Sounds more like a demon to me. If you hear something outside, don't go investigate. You might not like what you find. Published to YouTube in July of 2006, TCAN456 writes, Just watch, but not before you go to bed. Take his advice. 
In this home video, our friend, who is clearly scared judging by his breathing patterns, looks around his house after hearing something and then heads outside to investigate. He passes a large potted plant as he turns a corner. Nothing appears to be there, but when he turns back, a figure flees from behind the plant and races into the darkness. The cameraman runs after it but quickly loses the creature. He searches along some thick hedges in his backyard and soon faces the plant man again. Instead of searching him out further, he races inside, locking the door behind him, runs to his room, locking that door too and gets in bed. All the while there is banging. <laughs> although it's not clear where the sound is coming from. The rest of the video is nothing but a black screen, one upon which you keep expecting a jump scare to surface. Don't worry, the fear is over. But my questions about this video remain unanswered. This creepy abandoned house is one of the most haunted places in the UK, and you're about to find out why. YouTube team The Ouija Brothers investigate. As they approach the home, they think someone is there. I thought I was seeing something up in the top window then. You might have. Oh god. Because the door's locked. I honestly thought I was seeing something up in the window. They continue inside and Carl thinks he sees something. Whoa! What? Carl. No, no, no. Hey. Run. It just says run on mine. That message is chilling. In another hallway, they hear two distinct taps. Cough. They hear another unexplained noise next. Did you hear that? I didn't. It's okay. In your room. Just in front of me, yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, I didn't make a noise. I'll check back on that. And another. What was that? Is that you? You were me. It sounded like something coming from a cupboard. It was like a what? I'm not sure if any of this was actual proof that the place is haunted, but I do think these mysterious sounds, coupled with what the guys saw here, may warrant further investigation. What is this creepy figure skulking in the darkness? The group encountered the creature at night hiding behind a pile of logs. Have this. Come on, let's go. Hey, come on, let's go. Come on, come on, come on. The figure appears like a woman, but not quite human. Take a closer look. Is this an extraterrestrial? A ghost, perhaps? Your guess is as good as mine. Even ghosts need their emotional support dolls. Published by Top 5 Ghosts in January of 2022, and originally published by content creator Chamos, this scary video is trending in the Hindi-speaking YouTube community. The video follows the Brazilian ghost hunting team as they explore a haunted house. They hear a sound. It sounds like the cry of an animal. Yeah. Eu tava ouvindo barulho ali, já fiz. Que isso? The crew creeps around the house looking for its source. They turn a corner to yet another empty bedroom, but the bedroom behind them isn't empty. Turning around, they see this. A stiff figure wearing white with long dark hair is perched in a crib. She appears to be holding a doll whose legs dangle at her side. The door to the bedroom immediately slams shut as the entire crew has a meltdown. <gasps> They run off and don't look back. Did this ghost girl follow? Or maybe just her doll did? Either way, they made the right call getting out of that place ASAP. Located in South Carolina, YouTuber Mo Sarji claims that this is the original Crybaby Bridge. Mo 
Mo finds he isn't the first to check it out and won't be the last. I just found a Ouija board on the Crybaby Bridge. What? It's wet. That is crazy. I just found a Ouija board. After finding this homemade Ouija board, a strange truck starts stalking Mo and his team. Yeah, that's the same truck. Oh, stop. Need to stop. Oh, he's coming back. They return to their investigation, but after asking too many questions, they're met with a vice grip. Did you love your husband? Ah, ah, what the f is that? <coughs> what the f is that? <coughs> Did the female ghost react negatively to this question? As they consider leaving, they sense a presence on the bridge. I, I felt something walking over here, bro. Watch I guess it's time to go. I believe Mo pushed the crybaby bridge ghost too far. She didn't like his nosiness and she took it out on him. He is lucky he didn't become the next ghost to haunt this place. While communicating with lost souls in the witch's mirror, YouTube team Toppy's session gets dark. Nastia explains where the mirror comes from. And she begins the ritual. It sounds like something wants out of the mirror. And a shadow falls on the wall beside Nastia. The whole team comes, and through a spirit box, they ask if someone is there. After communicating with the spirits for a time, they leave a still camera in front of the mirror, and this is what they capture. What is this strange dark haze? Is it the spirit? I think it is. If I had to guess, I'd say this witch's mirror is a portal to the afterlife, one that shouldn't be tampered with. This paranormal activity couldn't be clearer. Published by Paranormal Mai in January of 2022, the paranormal investigator is speaking to the djinn that haunts this home. As he speaks, the door slowly swings closed and then slams shut. An EVP captures a phrase that means, Shut up, we are at your home. <laughs> Who exactly is here? I don't want to stick around to find out who's hiding behind this mirror. This short clip posted by TikToker, Sion Wick prompts that question. Watch it snap this Pokemon card up. The TikToker writes, we're waiting for it to trade us back. In the comments, Reed Hart points out the black fingers at the mirror's edge at the beginning of the clip. Take another look. They look more like spider legs than fingers to me. But if that's the case, this guy's got a mad strong spider on his hands. Submitted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Hunting the Haunted, this redditor wrote, The Haunted Frank Lloyd Wright House in Florida. This place has always been active. Check out the full video over on our YouTube channel. Let's watch their submission and see what they're talking about. Oh, 
I just wanted an orb fly by toward you. What was that? What was that? I heard something. Uh, that sounded like it was in the kitchen. That sounded like it was on top of the room. Guys, is there something here with us? We are not alone. We can hear you walking. I heard something. Well, it certainly seems like the spirits that reside in this home are active. I guess it really makes no difference who the architect of a home is in the eyes of a spirit. My theory is the spirits here are trying to scare this paranormal team into never returning again. YouTube team Rota X Investigaso Paranormal explores this haunting place where something horrible happens. As they walk in, they sense there's someone there. As he introduces himself, it sounds like someone runs off into the darkness. They get back to their investigation, addressing the spirits. É, boa noite. A presença que está aqui é da alguém que partiu, que estava aqui na tragédia. In one dark and scary room, their device goes off. Maior. Por isso a equipe Rota X pede licença para estar entrando aqui. And a second time. Tá, obrigado pela sua resposta, tá bom? And then a third time. Tá, alguém faleceu aqui, né? E você poderia me dizer? While the readings are interesting, I'm more intrigued by the person they sensed in the building who seemed to escape. This creepy encounter was posted to Reddit by Ghosty Faze. A ring doorbell camera captured a young woman's stalker. The woman says she was followed home from Walmart, and her stalker showed up on her doorstep. At first, the man appears to be looking for his own keys, but then he fails to find any and peers around the corner of the house. Many are wondering if the creep left something for his victim. Although we can agree that this is beyond creepy and edging into full-on horror, I do think this footage reminds us not to trust anyone. You never know when you could cross paths with someone like this. When ghost hunters are distracted by EVPs, they might be missing the obvious right over their shoulder. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit, Alex Paranormal TV explains that when this occurred, they were receiving activity in that area via a K2 meter and spirit. He writes, Keep in mind we check around to make sure the location is empty before investigation, and this place is in the middle of nowhere. The footage shows one of the investigators trying to communicate with the afterlife through the spirit box. As he asks the spirit and implores him to communicate, the man filming hears a bang. The other ghost hunter turns around to look over his shoulder, completely missing a full-figured shadow that crosses in the room beyond over his other shoulder. Is this the spirit these investigators are communicating with? If so, he's doing more than speaking. He's come for a visit. Thank you so much for getting me to 30,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 40,000 subscribers next. Thank you.